Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part 8 of the LP of Mega Man Zero One. In the last part, well, we defeated the final guardian, and in this part, we begin our assault in the arcade. As you guys can see, my health bar is, well, there's two. It's blue. I use the Cyber Elf uh, to double my health bar. The reason I did this is, well, I fucking need him. And since I don't have any sub tanks or extra health and extra crystals to spare, fuck it, I'm going all out. Woo! This is Neo Arcadia. Well, this is the beginning. This is the shrine, I believe it's called. Uh, there's... They've litter... Wow. I blew it up. But how the fuck did that happen? Yeah, you don't die in one shot. That's weird. Yeah, they put every fucking annoying enemy possible here. It, it really irritates me sometimes. Now, there are some of these places that have, like... Uh, if you... Okay, I mentioned this before, but... Using the electrical chips on this on these things will s actually s freeze them. Oh god damn it! I actually almost made it through without getting hit for once. Wow, major slowdown there. Whew. I don't know if it's the Wii U, the game itself, or the recording. Now, uh, when you get to this section, you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here. Uh, well, yeah, don't pray to God you're you get luckier than I do. Don't go that way yet. Hit this platform. Come on. Jump when it stops back to go back and you'll get two extra cyrls up here Now, I don't know. I doubt they're very they're large cyrls because the uh, the health one wasn't I believe the cyber elf I missed in the um, Desert where I was trying to To get it uh, where near that platform is those ruins is the other sub tank health health elf there we go and Now we're coming up to our first mini boss these guys aren't hard. Now, as you can see, there's bottomless, there's a, not a bottomless pit, there's spikes at the bottom. Now, these guys are, don't have a health bar, they're just two powerful enemies. Now, if you actually stand in these corners right here, one of them, doesn't matter which one, you'll eventually just hit them due to the mega, due to your mega buster, due to your Z buster, well, the buster, what it's called there, not the Z buster specifically, and I just knocked one the fuck out. Oh, I thought I was gonna kill you. Yeah, just fire. I, I actually hit him. I was like, wait, what? Oh, yeah, they also drop a cyber elf, so be careful. Um, if you're close enough to a cyber elf when an enemy drops it, or um, anything like that, it will get to you eventually. As in, it will follow you. Now, there's um, if you go to the right, I don't show this off because I don't have the mad skills anymore, and I don't trust myself with it. Wii U Pro Controller. I'd rather trust myself with a GBA, but unfortunately I don't have that. Uh, you can pogo stick, what I'm essentially calling it, um, your way with the triple rod jump onto those guys and bounce off to get to the top of that ruined platform and get uh, two... What the fuck? Why didn't you... Mother... Yeah, this thing is weird. Now, the electrical chip is your best bet with this thing. Whenever it spins like that, even just having the fully charged up uh, and swords. Fuck it. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, fuck it. I'm not standing here forever. <laughs> I was just like, phew, phew. yeah, that triple uh, sword throw is a little hard to dodge. He'll do that from time to time. He's rarely done it against me for some reason, though. He's mostly done that spinning attack where we saw him like twirl like a top. I don't know if that's a callback to uh, uh, Top Man or something, but that's actually not bad if it is. Uh, this section. Okay, these reappearing, disappearing blocks. Uh, since this is the first Mega Man with them, with, I've done with them in it uh, for this channel, is that reappearing, disappearing blocks have been a staple in the Mega Man series since. Uh, yeah, uh, the jump cut right there is because when you get to this point, you gotta jump on them. You gotta time it right so you land right as they're appearing. The best bet I can give you is count in your head, I think it's four seconds. Now, I believe if you go again to the right, there's a way to jump. Now, I believe if you jump all the way off this top one and head towards the left, you'll get to the roof. And yeah, I was checking if there's anything up here. There isn't. You'll get to the roof and find some more cyber else. And we meet the boss for this section. This is a Trespassing and Sanctuary of Master X. 
I, her, to salute you in the name of Harpuya, Guardian of Master X. You should review your honors as to retirement by me. By my sword, sorry. I was trying to give him a voice. Oh, Harpuya. Okay, so you're electrical. Okay. Bad idea. Ice. By the way, freeze. Freeze. Okay, um, this guy has unique pattern attacks. If he wants to fucking do them. Okay, when he runs into the wall like that, um, he'll knock you right off. Bitch, please. <laughs> I'm just like, bitch, please. He'll ram into the wall, try and knock you off. He'll charge up his electrical balls. His electrical shot to fire off a giant electrical ball. It will chase you to a certain degree, but not to the point of, like, going insane to find you. Now, the reason for that jump cut is that I kept falling down on those disappearing and reappearing platforms. Uh, yeah. When Sail contacts you here uh, to so you can rest, I suggest you do. Because I took some major fucking damage. And it took me a lot of time. Took me 10 minutes almost. For fuck's sake. And I took 58 points of damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, minus 20 Cyber Elf. Um, that is because of the double health Cyber Elf. Now, I said it only affects during the mission. If you use it during the mission. With time, if you the more Cyber Elves you use, even outside of the mission, the you'll get it. You'll get that effect. Um, here is... I died a lot here too. The best bet I can give for you here is use your shield. It's a new... It's actually probably the best weapon you can have. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, the problem with this elevator, since it's constantly going up, you can't um, easily... You know, those turrets that go up and down automatically will constantly target you. Yeah, I don't get why their bullets didn't kill each other. I don't know why. Like I said, um, be careful. This is in the hard elevator section. This section coming up is a bitch. Now, vertical platform climbing has been always a staple, again, in the Mega Man series. There is a Cyber Elf to the right here where this x drone is. A uh, Gunner x drone is, but, um... I got it because I got a retry because I was getting fucking frustrated and dying at this fucking spot. Every time I died was right around here. Reason? This fucker. Every time he would knock me off, you're when you get hit and you fall into spikes, as long as you're invulnerable, you'll be okay. The problem is that the way he hit me was that I landed on the spikes, lost my charge. I'm not even going after that fucking thing since I don't have a sub tank. Oh, shit. Uh... Although I slash with the Z-Saber, I fire off a Z-Buster. Yeah, um... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need it for the next boss. Uh, and we're near the top here. So this isn't the hard section. The in Just remembering the enemy layout is what's hard about these sections. Now, those electrical spikes will hurt you. Uh, the, the, the motherfucker, no! Oh, thank God. Yeah, the bad thing about it, um, vertical shafts. Wow, that sounded so wrong. These vertical platforming sections is that the if you fall far, you're falling far. Okay, the reason I swung my Z-Saber is that I believe in zero, three or 4, your Z-Saber has the ability to slash small pellets. I am so used to that. Uh, I thought the enemy here is weak to fire. No. This gelatin enemy that's coming up. Yes, thank God. This devil here. This is another staple in the Mega Man series. Once every four games about. Three, four games. There's going to be a devil. Well, I think in the X series starting in X2 or 3. Yeah, I forgot this thing's pattern actually. This thing isn't that difficult as you can see. It just has a shit ton of health. Just as long as you smash the Z-Saber fully charged or the Z-Buster fully charged. Ow. Yeah, those uh, blobs that shoots out when it twirls like that will actually, um, will actually stick to the wall and force you to come down pretty much. They're not hard to dodge. They're annoying. That's the problem. I tried to slice them in half, but I forgot this is gelatin. The best I could do is just whack it and make pieces fly off. So yeah, that was the first ha two first halves of Neo Arcadia, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that didn't take that much time, except for the fact that recording took me a fucking long time. 
As you guys can see, I have a retry and 78 damage. God fucking damn it, that took a while. Sil, what made you come here? I, I'm sorry, it, it was I who created Duplication of X. Oh, motherfucking bitch. I, uh, of course, this is all your fault, blah, 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 you blame yourself, you, uh, you did it for, but of humanity, yeah, we're a main character. We'll see you guys in the next part. We finished this game.